This is the Vankio Performance V610 HD projector. It has full HD 1080p resolution and today I'm going to set it up in my media room to see how it looks. The V610 is priced at just under $300 and it can still be considered a budget home theater projector. The projector comes with its own carrying case which is nice if you have to take this on the go. I really like the black exterior and one of the first things I noticed is the fabric top which is similar to what's found on the Google Home device. This fabric really adds a nice touch if you're installing this at home. I'm really glad that the logo is really subtle on the top. And on the back end there's a physical power button, but that's as far as buttons go. On the back there are two HDMI ports as well as two USB ports for digital media files. There's also an infrared sensor back there too. On the right side there's a rubber cover which hides a VGA port plus headphone and AV inputs. For easy connection right out of the box, the projector also comes with HDMI and audio video cables. It also comes with a USB card reader for digital media sources and a slim remote that uses two AAA batteries which are not included. Underneath the projector there's an adjustable leg that can be raised to adjust the tilt of the lens when this is placed on the table. But let's get this all plugged in and connected and see how the images look. When powered on, the red standby light turns blue, and then the first setting that needs to be locked in is the language. And that's pretty much all you have to do to start using the V610. I was really impressed with the image quality when I first turned this on. It was definitely bright and clear on my 100 inch screen, but you can size the image from 45 inches up to 200 inches. For the most part, you want to have this in a dark room, but as you can see, I do have some ambient blue light in here, but the picture still looks really good. And depending on how high you want the image on your wall, you'll probably need a tall table or stand for the best alignment for focusing. I was using an equipment rack, but ended up needing another box under the projector to get it to a decent height. But later in the video, I'll show you how the Performance V610 can compensate for your positioning. Right now I'm using an Xbox as the media source. But let me show you some image adjustments you can make in case you don't have ideal placement locations in your room. Going into the settings, there's something called 4D Keystone Correction, and it's actually much better than Keystone Correction on most budget projectors. The first adjustment is for horizontal alignment, and this is probably something you don't see in many of the projectors in this price range. The next adjustment is more common, which is vertical keystone alignment. Both of these parameters can be adjusted plus or minus 40 degrees. And if you need more than those two keystone settings, you can also set individual corner alignment to get your image perfectly on your screen. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of adjustment for each corner. But one of the things that can reduce the amount of keystone adjustment needed is mounting the projector on a ceiling. And at first I thought the Performance V610 didn't have mounting holes, but I realized that the holes are actually under the rubber feet. These can be taken out using a pointy tool and they're just stuck in there with two sided tape. And now a ceiling mount can be attached to the bottom of the projector but be sure to keep the rubber feet around just in case you need to put this on a table again. Not everyone has the option to mount a projector on a ceiling, but to me it's the best way and it doesn't take up any space in a room. The only thing is that the cables might be a problem, but I have an attic above so it's a bit easier for me. After watching quite a bit of media on the Vankio Performance V610 projector, I can say that I'm really impressed with the image quality and brightness. For less than $300, this is a really good quality projector that can really enhance your gaming and movie watching experience. And if you want to hear more specifications on this, it does have 6,000 lux with a contrast ratio of 5,000 to 1, and the lamp life is rated at 50,000 hours. One last thing, the projector does have a built-in speaker that actually sounds okay, and it goes loud enough if you don't have any audio system connected. I'm really excited about rebuilding my home theater with a V610, and the next thing I need to get is a motorized drop-down screen that can be hidden when not in use. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all my weekly videos.